Hi, I'm Cam Burns for Rebel. Did you know there is more to treadmill training than just walking and running? Freshen up your workouts by adding in squats, push-ups and dips and incorporating resistance bands to get a full complete workout. All while using your trusty treddy. Let me show you how. First body weight exercise is a push-up. With the treadmill off, plant your hands slightly outside shoulder width on the side rail. Activate your core to maintain a stable, straight body. While executing a push-up, try and touch the rail with your chest to engage full range of motion. If you're struggling, drop to your knees so you can complete the exercise. Another great bodyweight exercise is a squat. Plant your feet hip width apart or slightly wider. Lower yourself towards the rail in a seated position, keeping your head facing forward so your torso is straight up and making sure your knees don't pass your toes. Once you are seated on the rail, push up through your heels back to the starting position. Before you start to run, start with a walk and then increase the speed slowly, making sure your feet are parallel. Keep your chest up and open at all times. Always look straight ahead and avoid looking at your feet. Start with a walk and then increase speed slowly, making sure your feet are parallel. Always keep your chest up and open when running. Always look straight ahead and avoid looking at your feet. Start your intervals with 30 second bouts of high intensity sprints. Then return back to a walk. Always allow your heart rate and breathing to rest before you start your next interval. Start with feet shoulder width apart. Squat down as low as possible preparing for the jump. Explosively jump as high as you can. When landing, always have bent knees to avoid knee impact. Start in the lunge position with one foot in front of the other. Lower your body down so your knee is just above the ground. Jump with explosive power and swap leg positions. Always have bent knees to avoid knee impact. Place both feet on the tube, hip width apart. Hold the handles by your side with palms facing up, ready to start the exercise. Lift both hands up, keeping elbows close to the body towards the shoulder. Always lower your hands down slowly to keep the muscle activated. Place both feet hip width apart on the tube. Holding both handles, keep your hands in front of your body with knuckles facing down, ready to pull upwards. When you lift, always aim your elbows up towards the ceiling. Before you come down, always keep it slow to keep the muscle activated. Place both feet on the tube, hip width apart. With both handles in each hand, keep them by your side, ready to start the exercise. With hands by your side, lift your arms straight up towards your shoulders, keeping your arms as straight as possible. Always aim for the same height, but lowering slowly to keep your shoulders engaged. I'm Cam Burns for Rebel. For more great content, follow the links on your screen or head in store and speak to an expert.